So now that everything's been dried off and cleaned, it's time to reassemble everything. If your spring has come out from the carb, just stick it back in to its notch over here. You may have to turn the spring a bit so that it goes all the way down. Now if you're putting a new diaphragm kit in there, first you would insert the gasket onto the carb. It's going to match up with the holes. Then you would insert the diaphragm over. And the spring is going to be underneath the diaphragm here, so you want to still make sure that all the holes are matched up when you put it on the fuel tank. Now when you put it on the fuel tank, you have to put the long nozzle through the small hole here. So you could just simply go like this, and then it's going to line up with the holes like that. Now before you put screws in, make sure you have both the diaphragm gasket and the diaphragm holes lined up. It's very important that you do this because if it's even off a bit, it could damage the diaphragm and cause a leak and your mower's not going to run right. Now just finish putting in the screws. Don't tighten them up all the way, just snug them for now. And it's important that you crisscross the pattern that you're tightening the screws so that the carburetor goes on nice and flat. If you tighten up one screw on one side too tight and then just the other side, what's going to happen is the carburetor is not going to be on evenly and it could cause a leak. So now I'll just finish up tightening up the carburetor evenly. Now I'm just going to air blow all the dust and dirt that's on the carburetor. If you do this, make sure that no dirt gets into the carburetor holes here. I'm also going to air blow the engine and around the carburetor throttle mechanism here. Just be careful with your pressure that you don't blow off the little springs. This little insert here and the o-ring go inside here if they've come off your carburetor just put them back in and clamp it in like that when i took the carb off these came off and stayed on the manifold part of the engine now what we need to do at this point is to put back the linkage which is over here into the butterfly mechanism here now make sure that it's pressed in down here over there now grab this end of the linkage with the end that's twisted like that. Insert it into the hole on the butterfly mechanism in an up position like this. Then turn the carburetor and it's in. Make sure that the other part of the linkage is into the governor arm right here. And it's gonna go in in this position. Before you continue any further, put in the boot here and it's going to go into this pipe like that. Now just reinsert the carburetor into the manifold over here. So make sure that this boot is on both pipes here and make sure it's pushed in all the way. Next you can put this bolt here in the back. I'm just going to snug it for now. I'll tighten it after I put the other bolt in. Now with this bolt here, remember that the spacer goes in between the fuel tank and the engine. So insert it back there and put your bolt in. You may want to grab your wrench to line it up like that. It's a bit easier this way. Now you can tighten up this bolt fairly tight. And now just tighten up this bolt at the rear. Now after you're done putting the carb on, if your filter is really dirty like this, you want to separate the cartridge, take out the piece of plastic and the foam filter. What I do is I wash the foam filter in gas as well as this here. So basically just soak your filter in gas. You're going to see a lot of crud come off. 
just make sure you have nothing flammable near your container. Then just squeeze it. You can also wash it in dish soap and hot water and then let it dry in the sun. So there's still going to be brown spots but the filter is clean. Next I'm just going to rinse the covers in the gas and wipe them off. So now I'm just going to let the air filter dry up in the sun. That the filter is dry, I'm going to spray a bit of liquid wrench in it and squeeze it. You can also use 10W30 motor oil, put a bit of oil on the filter and then squeeze it so that the excessive oil comes out and then it's going to leave a film of oil on the foam. What that does is it helps the filter to trap the dust that's coming in the engine by sticking to the oil. Now just stick your filter back into the cartridge. Stick the centerpiece back in there and then put the cover back on like this. Now just stick your filter in this position and now insert the screw back in. And just tighten up the screw and you're all done. Now I've got it all fueled up, I'll put it back together and I'll start it up and see what happens. So there you go, it's fairly easy to do. I think anybody watching this video will be able to do this. They're a pretty dependable engine as far as it goes. They've been around for many, many years, these engines. If your lawnmower is the one without the primer, which is the older type, I do have videos on how to repair those as well. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Keep the questions coming. I can't always answer every question that comes, but we'll see you in my next video. Take care.